All right, class, today is an exciting day today because we are going to a field trip. I can't wait for this field trip. I heard it's about the Day of the Dead. That's right, Zoe. It's a field trip based on the Day of the Dead. Wait, so does that mean we get to see some dead people? <gasps> oh, that'd be sick. I get to see my dead cheetah. Woo! Oh, man, do we really gotta let that shit go? Uh, not quite, but you will have a speaker that'll tell you all about the Day of the Dead, what it's about. So you're telling me this whole field trip, we're just gonna be sitting and listening to some random talking about the day of the dead? Oh my god. Can I at least stay at school? No, Peely. The whole first grade class has to come, and that includes you too. <sighs> okay. I'm half black and half Mexican. Wait, what? I thought you were just permanently black. Nah, my dad is black, my mom is Mexican. I'm half British and Italian. That's good to know, Jeffy. Attention all first grade teachers, you may now bring your students down for a check-in. Oh, that's time. It's time to go, class. Alright everybody, hello and welcome. And congratulations on your first field trip in ever. <laughs> Shit, about time. Shh, quiet Black Knight. Anyway, here are the rules. No talking while the speaker is talking. Eh, like that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, and also, please, Please raise your hand. I don't want anybody to shout out answers or shout out any questions. Cause that's just rude. Be respectful to the speaker, please. And also, have fun. Well, actually, these two have to do attendance first and then you can have fun on your field trip. All right, gotta go. All right, now that we got the principal out of the way, nothing too personal to the principal. Now we have to do attendance. All right, uh, is Baldy here? Yep, Baldy is right here. Beans? Right over here. Boomer? Here. Bobasaur? I'm here. Charmander? Right over here. Elf? I'm here. Freya? I'm here. Fish stick? I'm here. All right, Jeffy? Right here, teach. Kermit? I'm over here. Black Knight? Here. Lisa? Right here. Littles? I'm here. Murray? I'm here. Okay, Mickey? I'm here. And Peely? I'm over here. All right, Peggy? I'm here. Pikachu? Right over here. Radier? Here. Ranger? Over here. Raptor? Here. Rex? Here. Sam? Here. Scientist? I'm here. All right, last person on my list is Squirtle. I'm here. And I have these two people on my list. Uh, Tricera and Zoe. Here. I'm also here too. Great, everybody's here. How about that? All right, everybody, pick your bus partner and let's head on. All right, guys, there are three of us, so what should we do? I'm not sure. Ugh, this is a tough choice. I don't want to sit next to my sister, my best friend, or my girlfriend. Oh, Sam, let me be your partner. Nah, oh, man, I want to be his partner. Hmm, it's a tough choice. Let me see. I wish the bus had extra space. Then we can all be in one spot. Yeah, but too bad, ain't so. Hey, can I sit by myself? I want my own personal space. Yes, Black Knight, that's fine. If you want your own personal space, then that's okay with you. It's okay, Mickey. You can partner with either your best friend or your girlfriend. I'm gonna go see if anybody else over there needs a partner. Yeah, but now I gotta either decide between my best friend or my girlfriend. What y'all got going on over here? We're still trying to decide which partners to pick. Okay, so we all agree that I could take Bulbasaur, right? Yep. Wait, no, 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 what about me? Well, I mean, you're kind of like a nerd, and basically you're gonna be going on all on day about talking about the day of the dead. And this field trip is exciting to you. All we're just doing just listening to some random. Hi, guys. You need an extra partner? Oh, yeah. Jeffy. Oh, okay. I can be partners with Jeffy then. Hurry up and pick them partners. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Uh, sorry, you two. Me and Kermit gotta be partners because we're both from the same show anyway. Oh, yeah. Fair, fair. Yay! I knew it. Oh, I'm running out of time. It's okay, Mickey. I understand that you and Tricera may want some alone time. So I may go see if anybody else over there needs a partner. Hmm. Huh. Well, that was easy. Come on, Tricera. All right. All right. Almost done with the partners. Hey, over there. Back there. Pick y'all partners already. We're off to pick for you. Ah! Uh, uh, any, mini, miny, mo, catch a pot title. Oh, my God. Well, I already made my decision. I'm going with Elf. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, too. Come on, Billy. Let's be partners. Yes. Yes, sir. Come on, Ranger. Be my partner. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Littles, be my partner. All right, let's go. Huh, that just leaves me and you, Radio. Let's go. Yeah. All right, everybody has a partner except Black Knight, correct? Yep, all right, that's good, because I was going to choose for you, and I know you guys wouldn't like that. <clears throat> He's right about that. And now that you guys got your partners, we can now set off to go to the field trip. Finally made it. I wonder who our speaker's going to be. <sighs> all right, this is the second time I had to do this. What? Dad? Dad? Daddy? Hey, everybody, look, it's my daddy. We all know that, but he's teaching this? This is like my third time seeing you. 
I would make a joke, but never mind. I don't want to. Yes, most of y'all may know me as Barack Obama or Barack Obama Smith. Anyway, I'm here to teach you about the Day of the Dead. Does anybody know what the Day of the Dead is? It's a day to celebrate the dead people, right? That's correct, Billy. Mexicans celebrate it. Most of those. But I'm here to teach you about the history of it. All right, before we get started on the slideshows, can anybody tell me what day is the Day of the Dead begins on? Ain't it today, the second? Yep, that's when it ends. But where does it begin? What day does it begin on? Oh, uh, it's the 1st of November. Oh, smart boy. That is correct, Squirtle. See, right here. Friday, November 1st, 2024. And then Saturday, the day that we are right now, November 2nd, 2024. I don't know why you guys have Saturday school today, but we couldn't really get the trip on a Friday because that person who asked us basically had school that day. So we couldn't do this video today. So he decided to do it on this day. Ain't that some good facts? Hmm, sounds a bit pointless. But it's indeed true facts. You betcha it is, and now you will learn the history of the Day of the Dead, or in Spanish, Dia de los Muritos. Anyway, it is a holiday traditionally celebrated on November 2nd or the 1st, through other days such as October 31st or November 6th, maybe included depending on locality. Wait, 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 hold on. Elf, raise your hand. Oh, yeah, right, sorry. Yeah, did you have a question? Yes, so about that October 31st and November 6th, like, I'm confused with that one. Depending on when each country celebrates it, like, for instance, the uh, Hispanic people or Mexican people, basically, they just celebrate it on the 1st and the 2nd. Well, most of them don't really celebrate on the 2nd. I think most of them just celebrate on the 1st. I think that's the only day for Mexicans and Hispanics. Ah, makes sense. I still don't get it. Anyway, the multi-day holiday involves family, friends, gathering to pay respects. And remember, friends and family members who have died. Yes, you had a question? Yes. How do you know if the people are dead? No. Like, how do we, like, know that they're standing right next to us? Trust me. You will know. You guys believe in Jesus, right? Mmm, somewhat. Yeah. Well, if you guys believe in Jesus, then you believe in spirits. And trust me, those spirits are right next to you right now. You got any dead family members? Yeah, my mom. A cheetah? My old mommy, but that's because I shot her. She deserved it. Okay, did not need to really know that, but yep, all those people that are dead are right next to you right now, including my father, who is dead when I was really young. R.I.P. him. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, especially because I never got to meet him. There, there, it's all right. Oh, you're telling me that she's right next to me right now? No, 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 Jeffy. She's not right next to you now. She's definitely gone for good. Oh, whew, thank God. Yes, thank God indeed. But now back to the lesson now. These celebrations can take a humorous tone as celebrants, members, amusing events, and anecdotes about the departed. Yes, you had a question? Yes, what is anecdotes? It's just simply like a short story of a person. Oh, <laughs> even as a teacher, I didn't really know that. Yeah. Yes, did you have a question? Yes. What if a person just randomly dies while living by themselves? Well, I'm sure, like, the next door neighbors will kind of hear about it or probably at least check on them. And if they figure out that they're dead, then they'll have to, like, call for an emergency and then they'll turn the house into, like, a funeral home. Really? Because I thought when the person dies, their spirit comes out and then the spirit carries them. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. What? No, 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 no. That would be silly and a bit stupid. Anyway, <clears throat> it is widely observed in Mexico where it is largely developed and it is also observed in other places, especially by people of Mexican heritage. The observance falls during the Christian people of a lot of Wattis. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Some argue that there is indigenous Mexicans or Asian Aztecs influence that accounts for the custom and it has become way to remember those forebears of Mexican culture. The day to day is largely seen as having a fiesta characteristics. Sorry I forgot to raise my hand, but I have a question. Are you half Mexican? Oh, no, I'm actually half Hawaiian and half black. It's kind of a mix because my mom is Hawaiian and my dad is permanently black. Oh, just asking. Wait, 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 so you're telling me that all this time you didn't know he was Hawaiian? I thought he was just black. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. If you're not Mexican then, then why are you talking to us? Why are you teaching us this? Because it's my favorite holiday. 
after Christmas and Halloween, of course. <laughs> but yeah, when my father died, we had a funeral, and then we went to go see where he was going to get buried at. And then every year, me and my mom would just go to his grave and just say, like, a prayer. And we always give him, like, flowers and other stuff. Yeah, just something so I won't forget my dad. Me and my mom did that yesterday, too. And me. And me, too. That's right. Me, my mom, Mickey, and Beans all went to my dad's grave. And Mickey and Beans were telling me that they were going to have a field trip tomorrow. And tomorrow is today. So... Here we are today. And you didn't tell us you were going to teach us this. I didn't know I was teaching y'all. Anyway, other questions before we go see some pictures? Yes, I have one more. So how many, like, national people or, like, how many, like, citizens, like, um, like, name, like, the citizens of people? Like the different type of groups? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So you got, like, the Native Americans. You got, like, the Mexicans for sure. Uh, British, I think, celebrates it too. And, uh, I believe that's it. I don't see any other nations celebrating this holiday. Oh, okay. All right, those of you who want to see some pictures of the Day of the Dead, then you can come on up here and I'll show you some. Those of you, there's like a table section over there where there's like fruit and stuff. You guys can just get yourself some lunch. Yeah, that's where I'm finna go. Right behind you. What, this is all that's left? Man, these are some greedy ass people. <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> it's okay though, I can give me some Subway. Ooh, give me some, what? Damn, thirsty girl. Okay then, I'll get you some Subway. Me too? Okay then, I'll just get all three of us Subway, how about that? <sighs> yeah, sure, just meet me after school. I ain't much of a raspberry fan, but I am a blackberry fan. <sighs> this was the best field trip ever. The first, too.